at the Lindner Center for Conservation and Research of Endangered Wildlife, or as we call it, CREW, we are dedicated to saving species with science. Over the decades, CREW scientists have improved the outlook for endangered species through advanced animal and plant research. In 1995, CREW worked with local human fertility doctors to achieve a groundbreaking scientific milestone, the birth of Timu, the world's first gorilla conceived through in vitro fertilization, or IVF. CREW has been a pioneer in the conservation of small wild cats, especially palace cats and ocelots. The team achieved successful artificial insemination of a palace cat, resulting in a litter of three healthy kittens. Additionally, CL, the first ocelot crew produced by IVF and embryo transfer, served in the Cincinnati Zoo's Cat Ambassador program for more than a decade, visiting local schools and inspiring kids to respect wildlife. Similar reproductive technologies are now being used to help save the endangered Texas ocelot. Working internationally, Crew helped restore blue and gold macaws to Trinidad's wild wetlands, where a thriving population now flies freely over the local communities that helped make it happen. Crew also established a polar bear sperm bank that serves as a critical resource of genetic diversity for global conservation programs. Closer to home, Crew's plant research team's work with the Cumberland Sandwort involved propagating the plant through tissue culture and supporting its reintroduction into the wild. These efforts contributed to the species being removed from the federal list of endangered and threatened plants in 2021, a species saved, thanks in part to CREW. CREW scientists even captured the first image of world-famous hippo Fiona using advanced ultrasound imaging techniques. And one success that I'm particularly proud of is our work with the Sumatran rhino. Through science, we unlocked the secret to breeding Sumatran rhinos and in 2001, welcomed the birth of the first zoo-bred Sumatran rhino calf in over a century. Two additional births followed. We're still involved with Sumatran rhinos today, but from afar, very far. The only Sumatran rhinos left in the world are now in Indonesia. The two males that were born here in Cincinnati now live at the Sumatran rhino sanctuary and have each produced offspring. In fact, seven of the 10 rhinos there exist as a result of Crew's groundbreaking work and this managed population may be the only hope this species has of surviving. Today, CREW focuses on four signature conservation projects. Rhinos, exceptional plants, imperiled cats, and polar bears. All five rhino species in the wild are seriously threatened due to poaching, and managed rhinos face health and breeding challenges that our scientists are addressing to improve their longevity, well-being, and genetic diversity. Our research into rhino reproductive hormones provided critical insights essential for breeding Sumatran rhinos and developing artificial insemination, which has been useful to produce several Indian rhino calves. Ongoing work is now providing clues to early pregnancy diagnosis. Our imperiled cat project began with a focus on smaller wild cats often overlooked in global conservation efforts. But as our expertise deepened, so did our reach. From sand cats in the Middle East to jaguars in South America, We've developed assisted reproduction techniques that are now saving felid species across continents. In 2019 in Brazil, we achieved the first ever jaguar cub born from artificial insemination, a leap forward for big cat conservation globally. Crew's work even extends to domestic cats and scientists recently completed a collaborative study that had promising results for a new kind of birth control that could replace Spain with a single shot such a breakthrough could improve the lives of cats while protecting millions of wild birds. In 2014, we added polar bears to our signature projects. With sea ice vanishing, these Arctic giants face an uncertain future. We've built the largest polar bear reproductive database in the world, pioneered sperm cryopreservation, and are zeroing in on a reliable pregnancy test, a tool that will help us care for both zoo and wild populations. Most recently, Crew's polar bear team collaborated on a study that found a connection between glucose levels and denning. It's another piece of the complicated polar bear pregnancy puzzle that could provide reproductive clues. But it's not just about animals. Plants are the foundation of ecosystems, and a quarter of global plant diversity is at risk. 
Our exceptional plant project focuses on plants that cannot be conserved in traditional seed banks due to sensitive seeds or lack thereof. We develop and apply in vitro and cryopreservation protocols to propagate and preserve these endangered plants and support their recovery in the wild. We're internationally recognized for our expertise in plant tissue culture and cryopreservation. Species that were nearly lost, like Florida pawpaws and Kentucky clover, are now being restored in the wild. And majestic oaks are now protected as bits of tissue in Cruz frozen gardens since their acorns cannot be banked. The heart of our operation is the CryoBioBank, one of the world's most advanced repositories of genetic material. From polar bear sperm to fishing cat embryos and fern spores, these samples are insurance policies for the future. Stored at minus 196 degrees Celsius and still viable after decades. Crew is also building the next generation of conservation scientists. Through fellowships, internships, and international training, we're mentoring and empowering future leaders across the globe. Science is slow, it's complex, but it works. And when you're trying to save a species, every data point, every pregnancy, every plant root, it all matters. At Crew, we operate with a constant sense of urgency, but understand that science takes time and patience. It also takes people like you. Thanks for supporting Crew, where real progress conserving wildlife is made every day. Together, we are saving species with science. <laughs>